or you know snort some cocaine you know do what you need to do how beautiful for someone watching this video you smoke and you know i'm coming with it what's in your pockets run them bitches i'm popping shit bad honda is it i got track hoes like honda city yeah i got a bunch of bitches i feel like uncle with it Welcome to my channel if you are new and if you are not then welcome back. My name is Asia and on this channel I post beauty and lifestyle content amongst loads of other things from YouTube tips to Netflix suggestions. You can find it all on my channel. So please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Click the notification bell while you're down there and please go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up before we even get started. It will help me out so so much. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about 10 plus mistakes that small YouTubers are making that is in turn keeping them small. This video is in collaboration with the daily student i'm sure if you've come across my videos you have seen her videos in her face somewhere she posts a lot of youtube advice related content along with instagram growth tips and um she documents her fitness journey so after you watch this video be sure to go check out her video to get 10 more mistakes that small youtubers are making her video will be in the i card and also in the description box down below i know y'all peep the growth that has happened within the last two months. Two months ago, I was at 800 subscribers and now I'm currently over 11,000. How? In addition to my YouTube tips playlist, I'm also doing one-on-one -on -one 20 minute consultation calls via zoom i'm giving you guys real tea and more game on how to grow your channel and i'm doing it one on one i'm going to be telling you guys things that i don't mention in the videos if you want to really grow like me you'll book a session today so you can learn everything the link is in the description box down below as always i have to do my shout outs if you would like to know how to get a shout out be sure to check out my description down below i have all the information for it there <laughs> So with that all being done, let's get into 10 plus mistakes that small YouTubers are making that is keeping them small. The first mistake is impatience. Thinking that you deserve instant gratification or immediate success is the first step to your downfall. I posted my first video in 2016 and I hit 1000 subscribers on March 30th of this year. I don't say that to tell you that it's going to take you four years to get a thousand subscribers or four years to get anywhere on the platform. I know people that have started their channel in 2019 and now have over 100,000 subscribers. Everybody's YouTube journey is different but thinking that you're going to gain 1000 subscribers in a week or 100,000 subscribers in three months is going to to lead you down the depressed small youtuber spiral because it's not that easy and if you think that youtube is a get rich quick scheme or a be famous in less than a year scheme youtube is not the industry for you and i hate to be the one to discourage you from it but i get a ton of dms from people being like oh can you shout me out can you do this i'm only at 30 subscribers but i really want to gain a thousand so that i can get monetized and i can feed my family what i'm just like what stop it get some help why what makes you think that youtube is is that be patient youtube is going to teach you to be patient you have to be passionate about it people say you you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing and it's totally true and the reason is uh is because it's so hard that if you don't any rational person would give up it's really hard and you have to do it over a sustained period of time. So if you don't love it, if you're not having fun doing it, you don't really love it, uh, you're gonna give up. And that's what happens to most people, actually. If you really look at, 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 at the ones that uh, ended up you know, being successful, unquote, in the eyes of society and the ones that didn't, oftentimes it, it's the ones that are successful loved what they did so they could persevere when, you know, when it got really tough. And, and the ones that, that didn't love it quit because they're sane. Right? Who would want to put up with this stuff if you don't love it? So it's a lot of hard work and, and it's a lot of worrying constantly. And uh, um, if you don't love it, you're going to fail. That's the difference between me and a lot of people that watch my videos is that they give up. Me, I've never given up. You know, I've wanted to, obviously. It took me four years for my channel to really kick off, but I never did because YouTube is something that I'm passionate about. I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. The second mistake is not knowing what you want to be on YouTube. I know you guys see YouTubers all the time. We all have our favorite YouTubers. And you think to yourself, I want to be a YouTuber. I could do this. So you make a channel and you have absolutely no idea what kind of content you want to post, what kind of YouTuber you want to be. You just know that you want to be on YouTube because you see everybody else doing it. That's backwards. 
The third mistake is not knowing how to promote your videos or only using one social media platform to promote your videos. Maybe you only use Instagram or you only use Facebook or you only use Snapchat. No, you need to encompass everything. Of course, you do not need to promote your videos to grow. You can grow organically and there are plenty of channels that do it. Promoting your videos and knowing how to promote your videos definitely, definitely does help to gain a little bit of traffic because just one or two people knowing about your channel is one or two potential subscribers. The fourth mistake is not knowing how to do research or asking the wrong questions. If you don't know how to do research or simply find the answer to a question, YouTube is not for you. I'm really sorry, but YouTube is forever changing. The way that YouTube is now isn't what it was in 2018. And the way that YouTube will be in 2025 isn't what it is now. You have to be willing to adapt. And if you expect to sub for sub your way to the top, let me tell you right here and now, you will go nowhere. Did you know that you can actually get denied from the YouTube Partner Program by doing sub for sub on the YouTube platform? It is against the YouTube guidelines. When you reach the monetization requirements, you have to apply to be monetized and YouTube will review your channel and it will either approve or deny you. Some ways that people are denied is doing sub for sub and buying subscribers. There are a bunch of computer scientists, software developers behind the scene coding away and they can easily figure out where you're getting your subscribers from. It's not smart to do sub for sub on the YouTube platform. As far as asking the wrong questions, instead of saying how to grow on YouTube, take a look at your analytics and see where your weak points are. So say you look at your analytics and people only watch about 5% of your video. Okay, you need to find out how to increase audience retention. Now, the next thing is lacking a clear value proposition. This goes back to not knowing what you want to be on YouTube. I've talked about this before, but YouTube is a platform where you must bring value to the viewer. Whether this value is entertainment, relatability, or information you must bring value you know if you make a channel and somebody has to figure out what your channel is about or what kind of content you post you are doing it wrong if people don't know what you bring to the table why would they want to sit down and eat with you the next thing is having no enticing brand or a channel layout people don't subscribe to amateurs that is what a lot of small YouTubers are and it, it shows. Of course, as a small YouTuber, you are an amateur, but you don't want it to show, okay? If you have a crappy channel banner, if you have a crappy profile picture, if your whole channel just looks like dog shit, it is obvious. It is obvious that you are a small YouTuber and nobody wants to subscribe to that. Have a nice channel banner. I do channel banners for $8. Hit me up on Instagram if you want to get one. And you need to have an enticing brand and you need to have a nice channel layout. The next mistake is confusing YouTube titles. YouTube titles need to be searchable. YouTube is the second largest search engine right next to Google. And guess what? YouTube is owned by Google. So people are not searching, we made ice cream together. No, but people may be searching how to make ice cream at home. How you phrase your titles is so, so important. So make sure that you don't have confusing YouTube titles. Your titles state what the video is about. They have some keywords in there that people can search up. The next thing that is a huge, huge, huge mistake that small YouTubers are making is having weak intros slash long intros. If your intro is trash, don't even use it. Get rid of it. Don't even have an intro, honestly. Throw the whole intro away. Throw the whole channel away. Throw the whole YouTube away. Just throw it away. I see so many trash intros and I'm like, why do you even put this in your video? Like, I don't know what it is, that cute cut stuff. It's like in the corner. I don't know, but it sometimes, like, sometimes it looks okay, but sometimes I'm telling y'all, there are some people with so trash intro. I can't even make it to the actual video part because the intro is so trash, I click off immediately. Now, another thing is long intro your intro should not be 30 seconds to a minute notice that the biggest youtubers have these shortest intros because if you have a super long intro that makes people want to click off of the video now the next mistake is bad avl avl is audio lighting and video quality the tenth mistake is having low energy slash no confidence. Nobody wants to subscribe to somebody that has low energy and no confidence. I have a YouTube friend named Jason Small. Shout out to him. His videos are so funny and sarcastic. He's definitely an underrated small YouTuber. And he's just so bold in his videos. And we were texting and he told me that he is actually really chill and kind of shy and introverted in person. And I was like, what? Cause he, he does not act like this on camera. And he was like, yeah, I'm really chill and introverted, but I know people wouldn't subscribe to that. 
and he is so right he is so right people would not subscribe to shy and introverted so you might have to kind of boost yourself up a little bit i'm not as enthusiastic as i am on youtube i'm i'm kind of chilled too but you know what i'm saying i know that people aren't going to subscribe to me if i'm yeah so for today's video i'm going to be talking about like 10 plus mistakes that small youtubers are making and um i hope like that you'll enjoy the video um subscribe to me please please subscribe to me please subscribe please 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 subscribe to me no okay people don't subscribe to that people don't like that okay you have to you know what i'm saying and i know some of y'all struggle with confidence on camera i'm gonna do a video on how to be confident on camera with whatever but but when you're making a video you're low-key just talking to yourself you know what i'm saying for me personally i'm really kind of confident on camera because i'm used to talking to myself y'all might think sis is a little crazy but sis is sh i might be okay i have ted talks with myself on the toilet i talk to myself on the daily so i'm used to talking to myself and telling myself how i feel and what i mean and what i need to say so just adding a camera in the mix it don't really feel too different for me regardless nobody wants to subscribe to somebody that doesn't have energy and that isn't confident on camera i know that i have to be excited and enthusiastic about my content to get you guys to be excited and enthusiastic about my content if i'm just like so today's video no like you're gonna just click off you know what i'm saying but if i'm like today's video is gonna be about this 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 and that you're gonna be like oh okay so you definitely need to make sure that you have high energy if you need to take a red bull or you know snort some cocaine you know do what you need to do to make sure that you have some high energy in your video now the last mistake that small youtubers are making is not being consistent or leaving the YouTube platform for an extended period of time if we take a look at my analytics you can see that when I wasn't posting I wasn't getting many impressions meaning YouTube wasn't recommending my content but as I've been more consistent there has been a huge spike meaning YouTube is recommending my content more those recommendations turn into views and those views turn into subscribers if I were to take a break that messes with the YouTube algorithm so they won't keep recommending my content as much as they are now but believe me with a lot of the stuff that has happened since i've been gaining more supporters i have definitely wanted to just take a break and i have definitely contemplated quitting um just like at first when i was giving youtube tips a lot of people were like begging me for handouts these youtube based videos are no longer fun for me and bless your soul you are not the person creating this problem you know who asked this question it's other people other people in my direct messages these people are aggressive, persistent, and rude, and they want to know my entire thought process from start to finish on a video. Basically, they wanna copy me. Here's the thing, I didn't get handouts when I started, and I certainly do not give handouts away. The fun part about being a YouTuber is reaching this point where I'm at now with like 77,000, because I had to go through that phase of figuring out what works and what doesn't work. These people, look at me and they just assume, oh, she was already this good from the start. Like, no, it, it was a lot of trial and error. And YouTube is not a get rich quick scheme. People would comment sub for sub, DM me on some sub for sub stuff. And it just, it really annoys me. Um, people beg me for shout outs in the comments and all sorts of things. And it just made me like want to just not be on YouTube anymore because of how much I felt like people were harassing me. So that was one hurdle that I got through. I got a lot of support from people and it made me want to keep posting videos. And then the next little hurdle was people copying me. Um, people copying my description word for word and then lying about it. People trying to figure out my intro song. People trying to figure out how I do my intros. People trying to figure out exactly how I edit. I was seriously contemplating putting everything on private so that people didn't have anything to copy because it makes me so irritated because people don't know. Like people do not know how much work I put into my videos and how long I've been doing this. So for somebody to copy something as simple as a description, it really hurts because it took me a long time to phrase everything the one the way that I wanted to phrase it and to figure out how I wanted to do things and to do the research and everything like that to make you know my content my content you know what I'm saying YouTube is such a copy and paste sort of platform and I wanted to be unique so when people take those elements that I try to make unique and they just make it their own and don't even give credit it really does hurt my feelings and so I just wanted to quit I know that if I take a break from YouTube the way that I've been gaining more supporters is definitely going to kind of 
go down. The thing that I've been scared about is that growth that I've been going through is gonna ha reach a plateau and it's gonna cease eventually. And I know that if I stop posting videos, it will. So I just can't stop, you know what I'm saying? Um, especially now that I'm gaining like supporters, I'm gaining a following, you know what I'm saying? I actually have an audience. For the longest time, I was posting videos and nobody was watching. Now I'm posting videos and people actually are. So it gives me a reason to keep posting and I feel like the positivity definitely outweighs the negativity. If I leave the platform and stop being consistent for even as little as two weeks, it's gonna mess up the relationship that I built with the YouTube algorithm and I am on her good side right now. So I'm trying to keep it that way. With that being said, if you've made it to the end of this video, go ahead and comment Rose so I know it's real. Once again, this video is in collaboration with The Daily Student, so don't forget to check out her video. If you need additional help on anything, if you have extra questions, go ahead and book a consultation call with me. Trust me, we will get you to where you want to be, okay? You may be at 1,000 subscribers right now and you're trying to get to 5,000. I got you. You may be at 5,000 and you're trying to get to 10,000. I got you. You may be at less than 100 and you're trying to get to 500. I got you. Book a consultation call today so I can get you the help that you need. Please go ahead and give this video a huge, huge, huge thumbs up. Comment down below what you want to see next subscribe to my channel if you have not already and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified every time i post a new video with that being said thank you guys so 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 much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye